Hi friends. So in the previous video we have seen about the symbol symbols thing. So and also the static properties static properties available in the symbols. So we have seen about the symbol dot to primitive and also symbol dot to string tag. Okay, fine. Now we will see in this video about the iterators. So what are these iterators? Iterators are nothing but what we can say is whenever we are using for loop for any iteratable object, so nothing but array or object or anything. So we will be using for loop for off for in we will be using right. So for off loop when we are using so the inner line underlying code what it will be executed is nothing but the iterator. So if you want to write custom code for the uh, for for off loop and all the things you need to use the iterators. So let's see actually what is this iterator is. So if you see, uh, I will take one variable, okay, array as one comma two comma three, okay. So let's try to print these numbers, okay. Let's try to print these numbers. If I try to print these numbers, I am able to get the output as one comma two comma three. So now in these numbers. We will be having one static property, nothing but as two primitive way how we are having. So like this, we will be having symbol dot iterative, which is responsible for iterating. So symbol dot iterative. Okay. So if I check here, undefined. Sorry, symbol dot iterator. Okay. If I check here, I am getting function of values. So so it is it is returning a function. Okay. So what I will try to do, I will try to execute this function. Okay, so like this. So if I try to execute this function, I am getting object of array iterator. So it is returning the object of array iterator. What is this array iterator? If you search in Google array iterator JavaScript, okay. So we will be we will be going to the Mozilla Firefox. See, sorry, Mozilla Developer Network will go, and here we will be seeing that it is a part of the iterable protocol. If you see this iter iterable protocol, and here you are having only one property with next, so that two next is a function. So that means what we can expect here, this array operator consists of a property of next, which is a function. So what I will try to do is, I will try to save this one in one variable. Okay, iterator function. I will name it like this. Okay. So now this contains iterator function consists contains the array of array iterator. Now array iterator as we saw in the documentation that it consists of one property next that is also a function. So what I will try to do, I will try to print that it function dot next. Okay, let's see, let's see what could be the output. If I try to print here, I am getting object one object as done false and value is one. This value one is nothing but what we can see is first value and done false why it is telling is that means the numbers what the, the data what is present in the numbers array is not yet completed so you need to get the data so now again if i print next year okay now if i do again i am getting another one done as false and value second value i am getting again I, if i press this one now i am getting again third one as the value 3 and again still it is done false c so that means the for loop for off loop when you think so this is the underlying logic what it will be doing. So now if I print, if I write again, now if you see here done is true. So that means done, has, done that means the total number of data present in the number array is completed. So done true will. So then only the for loop will exit from there. So now what I will try to do is let's try in this code. We will try to implement our own custom iteratable thing so that if you use the for loop, it will execute that logic. So okay. So now I will remove this all code. Okay. Now I will remove this all code and I will write new function. So something like here I will go. Okay. Now what we can do is so I will remove this one also. Numbers of okay symbol dot iterator. Okay. I am overriding the function. So function I am right. We are writing our own function. Okay. So now what we can do is so it it has to return an object. So that is nothing but array iterator it has to return the array iterator that means array iterator how what it will consist of it will consist of next thing so that is also a function okay array iterator next is also a function and this function also returns an object which contains of done so false and true we need to maintain and i need to return what i can say is value 
okay value 10 so now if i do this one if i write this one and if i try to execute this one using what we can say um, let it function is equal to so number numbers of symbol dot iterator okay if i try to execute this one and if i try to console dot log itfn dot next if i try to do itfn dot x what could be the output so if we try to check here i am getting 10 as output why because so i have overrided the i had i had overrided the function symbol dot iterator so that it, it is returning the next function with done false and value is 10 okay it will if you go on writing that thing it will it will go on giving you the done false until and unless it becomes true okay so now we will write some 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 logic so that it will become true somewhere so i will create one value let next value is equal to 10 okay so now here what i will try to do is so i will try to do the next value plus plus okay now here i will try to do if next value is greater than 15 true or otherwise written false so the until up to then so now here i will try to get the next value here i am getting the output like this now what i will try to do is so i will try to check the output here if i try to check the output i am getting 11 12 like this i am getting this, right so now what i will try to do is i will remove this one i will loop over the numbers let value of numbers okay console.log value i will try to print the value here if i try to print the value what could be the output here here see the output what i am getting is 11 12 13 14 15 how i am getting this one so it is looping over one by one numbers array and it is calling this next function in the present in the symbol dot iterator and it is going next value is initialized to 10 each time it is uh, next value is incrementing and it is becoming greater than 15 true is returning so that means it is completed then you can exit the for loop it is saying so in the in this way so the for loop will be exited and uh, we are getting printed 11 12 13 14 15 so in this way you can write your own custom logic custom iterator logic for the for loop for the arrays or any object or anything so that your custom logic will be executed in the place of common logic okay so this is uh, this is the iterator iterators in the ECMA scripts iterators actually it is a powerful tool where you can used to write custom logic custom uh, coding and all the things if you want to uh, change the built-in uh, behavior of the iterators you can use the symbol dot iterator like this okay if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comment below to this video and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel thank you